United States Nation here with Eric Reed, head uh, wrestling coach. Um, coach, we'll talk about the 2015-16 season, and uh, I guess first, more than anything, we'll recap 14-15. So, however you want to break that down, just uh, real briefly. Uh, well, I had a had a real good indoor season last year with Scotty taking third in nationals and qualifying. Uh, it was five guys from the national tournament. Yeah. Um, well, it seems a long time ago. Right. Yeah. No kidding. <laughs> um, but uh, we did have a big senior group last year, and, and, and they were very successful for us. We're obviously going to miss those guys this year, and as we go through and start talking about our lineup for this year, there's um, going to be a lot of new faces in the lineup, several guys that were redshirted last year that will be in there. Um, so even though we're going to be a young team this year, we'll, we'll definitely be a competitive team. But right. uh, you know, with all the seniors we had last year, um, you know, a little bit of a rebuilding year for us. Sure. Yeah, tough to replace the likes of uh, Remsen and Soderblom and you know, et cetera. You know, yeah. there's a lot of guys in there that were that made an impact the last four years. So, um, obviously, recruiting. You know, in addition to bringing the, the red shirts uh, into the fold this year, I, recruiting obviously turned out well for you guys. Yeah, a lot of a lot of real good young guys. Um, you know, we had a really good recruiting class last year, and like right. a lot of those guys were redshirted. Sure. Um, I think this year's group was even better. Um, so a lot of those guys are going to uh, make it into the lineup right away. Right. Um, we got a good chunk of them that are also redshirting this year too. Sure. So, um, you know, kind of looking down the road a couple of years from now, we're going to have a really good solid group right. of guys right. um, in there. But like I said, with this year, we got uh, we'll have a lot of freshmen and redshirt freshmen sure. in the lineup, but uh, guys that will be in there and be competitive right away as freshmen. Yeah. Might take a little bit of lumps, especially early on, but they can they can get after it yeah. as well. All right, we'll break it down. Um, starting at 125. Uh, 125, we got about four or five guys we could throw in there, and I feel confident with any one of them. Sure. But uh, I think right now John Altieri is probably our our, our main guy right there. Right. Um, had shoulder surgery last year and took a red shirt year, mm-hmm. but uh, is is healed up from that now and is is looking really solid in the room. Sure. Um, in addition to him, we got Bryce Castagna, Castagna who uh, had spent some uh, time in the starting lineup right. last year at 25 yep. and eventually moved up to 33. Um, he's actually a little bit lighter this year, so 25 is going to be uh, the spot for him again. Sure. Um, Andrew Gorman, who was a starter for us two years ago mm-hmm. and had some injuries last year, um, is also in the mix there. Um, Jeremy Andahar, who was a redshirt freshman for us last year, right. um, saw limited action last year because of a couple injuries, but he was very competitive at the times he was in there, so he'll be in the mix at 25. Mm-hmm. Um, then we have another freshman, uh, Tommy Rios, who uh, you know is right there with those guys right now. So... Um, you know, any of those guys, I f- would feel confident throwing sure. them in the lineup right now. But uh, I think right now John's a little bit ahead of the others. But right. uh, we'll wait and see those first few meets how, uh, yeah. how everything pans out for us. Right. Obviously, guys that have had some success in the past. I mean, Gorman and uh, Castagna, you know, wrestled well last year. And yeah. At times, they, they wrestled very well, and you know, that's, that says a lot for having that much depth. So. Yeah. And, and Bryce got some wins at the regional meet at 133. Right. So uh, being back down to his more natural weight. Sure. Um, you know, I think he'll definitely be be right in the mix there with him. Right, definitely. Okay, uh, 33? Uh, 133, uh, Khalil Williams would be sitting out first semester, okay. um, but we expect to have him in there healthy uh, again second semester. Right. Um, Fabian Rodriguez, a freshman um, for us, will more than likely be our starter there. We have sure. a few other guys in at 33, but I think right now he's uh, a little bit ahead of some of those other guys and right. uh, kind of looking for him to, to be the guy there right now. Sure, definitely. Uh, 141, we'll have uh, Angelo Kelly will be in there again um, once we'll his soccer, soccer season gets completed. <laughs> so um, as, as the last couple of years, he'll probably come in right after Christmas time sure. and uh, get his weight down under control after sure. uh, a soccer season. Sure. Um, in the meantime, uh, Brian Pittman will be in there. Brian is a fifth-year senior for mm-hmm. us. Um, so that's obviously one of those weights where I think on any given day, Either one of them could yeah. could beat each other, so right. um, you know that's definitely one of the spots we'll be looking at, at the end of the year to be taking multiple guys to the regional tournament mm-hmm. um, for us. Sure. Uh, one forty nine, we got Scotty Bonds. We'll make the move up to there again. Um, I think we we're kind of hoping last year after the move from thirty three to forty one that he might be done growing, but yeah. uh, <laughs> that hasn't been the case for sure. him. So, Late um, yeah, <laughs> he may be fifty seven, sixty five right. before all's yeah, said and right. done here. Could but uh, um, you know, right now we're looking at him to be one forty nine for us. Um, I think because of that, some other guys have kind of shifted weights, either sure. looking to go a little bit lower or moving up. Yeah. Um, but you know, right now he's kind of our guy at, 50, at 49. Right. Um, 157 is another one of those weights where we got multiple guys that we could throw in there and feel very confident with sure. uh, 
any one of them. Uh, Christian Padilla will be a senior or a fifth-year senior for us. Mm -hmm. um, it will be in there at 59. Logan Loftus, who uh, was in the starting lineup two years ago, um, had an injury last year and took his red shirt um, season last year, but he's all healthy now okay. back in there. Um, then we have a freshman, Austin Gowen, who uh, is looking really tough in the room right now. So, um, you know, all three of those guys will be kind of battling it out throughout the season to sure. see who gets that spot. Right. I mean, you got a totally different, you know, variation there. You got Padilla and, and Loftus were out last year, you know, Padilla doing mm -hmm. more of the, the academic side mm -hmm. of things. And then you also have, you know, Gowen just brand new. So you've got a lot of experience versus, you know, yeah. a, a, a brand new <laughs> freshman. So. Uh, it should be interesting how that works um, out as the year goes along. Yeah, and, and both Logan, even though Logan has a year of college experience, didn't get any matches in last right, year. Right. Um, so he's, you know, every day he's on the mat, he's getting better. Sure. Same thing with Austin, just being in the college room. Yeah. Um, every day he makes gains and, and gets better and better. So, sure. um, you know, a lot of our weights are going to be, yeah. I think, different by the end of the season than they are at the beginning of the year. Some of these young yeah. guys start to come on and, right. uh, you know, really show us what they have. Sure. Uh, 165, uh, Johnny Hopper will more than likely be our guy there, but sure. uh, Mike Corley and Jordan Lockhart are both back um, there too, and they had, had uh, some fairly successful uh, meets last season. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, Johnny's kind of our guy we're looking at right now, but, uh, you know, some of the other guys we have in there behind him, if he's not on his A game, yeah. then some of those other guys can come in there and, uh, and push him a little bit. Sure, sure. Um, 160 or 174, uh, we're looking at Tyler Fobert or Nathan Sierra. Mm -hmm. um, Tyler's another one of those freshmen last year that uh, redshirted um, due to some injuries. And right. we got those kind of all taken care of now. And sure. uh, he's uh, back on the mat going going strong and, and looking tough. So, um, you know, he's another one going to be a completely different wrestler by the end of the year than he is at the right. at the beginning. So I'm uh, looking for some big things from him. Nathan Sierra is a, a freshman in there, and he's he's going to be the same way. He's looked tough in the practice room so far, but sure. uh, you know he's going to make a lot of improvement throughout the season. Um, 184, uh, Aaron Allen will will be back again this year after football's done. Sure. Um, we also have Cody Jones, um, who are anticipating to be a 74 pounder, but uh, he's grown a little bit over the summer, and mm -hmm. uh, um, you know, I think 84 is going to be a little bit better fit for him mm -hmm. um, this season. So. Um, we're looking for him to kind of be the the guy there for right now. Right. Um, 197 um, is going to be kind of a, an open spot for us right, right now with Kyle having taken that spot for sure. the last couple of years. Yeah, sure. um, we haven't had as many guys around that weight mm -hmm. as, uh, as we would have liked uh, liked to for backup. So um, we got three guys that will kind of be in the mix there. Andrew Gowen uh, is a freshman for us, uh, Austin's brother. Yeah, yeah. Um, so he'll be he'll be right in the mix there. Jake Morgan and uh, Chris Rodriguez. Um, we'll all kind of be battling it out for, for that 97 spot. Sure. Um, and then at heavyweight, uh, we got Mark Gadsden back, who really came on at the end of the year last year, um, kind of giving him a hard time. We had bad Mark and good Mark. Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> if we could just get good Mark to show up for a whole match, uh, he would have a yeah. completely different season. So, sure, sure. Um, but he's, he's improved a lot over the summer and coming back with uh, knowing this is his senior year. Um, he's been really working hard during the preseason. And... Right. Uh, with the success he had late in the year last year, I think that will help him uh, make the transition right away into the beginning of the season here. Um, also, Matt, Matt Cuthbert was another one of those red shirts we had from last year, looking real strong in the room right now, um, along with uh, Gerardo Suarez, who is a freshman for us. Yeah. Um, you know, he's in there, in there looking real tough, too, so he's another one of those young guys that sure. um, I know a couple months down the road now is going to look completely different than yeah. he does now. So. Right. Um, as you can see, I like a lot, a lot of freshmen and redshirt freshmen that will sure. be in there, but um, our schedule's changed up a little bit this year from what we've had in the past. We mm -hmm. started out with the Grand View uh, Open, um, which typically hasn't been until the end of January sure. this year. has been moved up to early November, and they'll have a freshman division there. Um, the following week, we go up to the uh, Luther Open, mm -hmm. um, which is a very tough tournament, but they also have a freshman division. Right. And then our third meet is the Augsburg Open, where they have the gold, silver, and bronze divisions sure. there. So I yep. um, feel really confident with all our schedule this year, um, just with that aspect of having those first few meets for our freshmen sure. have those freshman divisions to not get thrown to the wolves right away right. like they have yeah. kind of yeah. the last few years. And uh, I know with the Luther Tournament, I always kind of use that as their yeah. wrestle-off the last couple yeah, of years. Sure. So um, I know a lot of our guys have taken their lumps uh, yeah. from some of those guys yeah. Uh, yeah. up there. So... 
Um, you know, all three are going to be very competitive tournaments, but I think that would be nice to kind of ease our younger guys into right. the of transition to college instead of you know let them get those freshman uh, yeah. matches in and then be ready to go uh, once we get back from Thanksgiving break and yeah. in Christmas break when we start the main part of our year. Right, definitely. Yeah, instead of getting going 0 and 2 against some guys from Iowa or <laughs> Iowa State or wherever, maybe you get four or five matches hopefully, you know, and then you get that. You know, twice as much experience and be ready come January. So, yeah. sure. Um, you know, as far as, uh, um, you know, with a lot of young guys, but some some uh, older guys, obviously, they're in the mix as well. How much, uh, you know, I don't want to say pressure, but how much emphasis are you putting there on the older guys saying, okay, you guys have to step it up here. And, and you know, we have a lot of coaches in the staff, and, and that's a, a nice thing this year, and we can talk about that in a second. But, in addition to having the coaches, you guys need to you know be able to step up and, and serve as um, you know some student coaches as well, and, and really train these guys so we can keep the program rolling. Yeah, and, and we've got a good group of, of the upperclassmen that we do have. Um, you know, another thing I guess I didn't mention too is we also have three three individuals that would have been seniors this year that mm -hmm. are red shirting. Uh, Brad Watson, who was national qualifier sure. for us a couple of years ago, Jeremy Walters who's a junior college qualifier, right. and uh, Nick Wise, who's been in the starting lineup for us the last couple of years, are all redshirting this year. Sure. Um, so you know, if they weren't redshirting, we would look like a, a much different yeah, team than yeah. we do now in some of those weights. But right. you know, looking down the road to having those guys join the lineup again next year along mm -hmm. with our freshman group that we have this right. year, um, you know, it's going to hurt us a little bit this year having those guys out of there. But I think looking long sure. term, right. um, it's going to benefit us a lot more to have them uh, have have the season to develop and, mm -hmm. and improve. So, um, you know, even though we may not have a lot of upperclassmen in the starting lineup, we right. still have those guys in the room. Um, you know, we got Mark in the in there, uh, who's going to be a fifth year fifth year senior. Yeah. Um, Christian Padilla, who's a fifth year senior. Um, you know, Scotty's really stepping up now. He's going to be a junior. Sure. Um, uh, Brian Pittman is a fifth-year senior, so we got a lot, quite a few yeah. upperclassmen in there. Which right. uh, you know, sometimes looking at our lineup, it might be sure. <laughs> easy yeah. to forget that. Yeah, but exactly, uh, right. we do quite a, have quite a few of those upperclassmen guys that are sure. you know doing a, a great sh job of uh, showing those young guys how to how to work and right. how to make the adjustment to the to college wrestling. Sure. Um, so um, you know, it's worked out very well for us so far. Right. Um, so going on top of that, segueing into the actual coaching staff, you guys have. Uh, several more individuals in the, the the room able to help out in practice and stuff because of such a big big squad that's nice to have obviously those extra individuals so everybody's always you know on mark for what they're supposed to be doing so talk about your the coaching staff if you want to do any shout outs for those guys and yeah uh, and I, yeah I'm re this you know, this year is a completely different situation yeah. come into the year coaching staff wise and what we've had in the past right. um, you know it's it's taken a few years to get us to this point but uh, yeah, you know, last year with bringing Aaron Scott on board, um, you know he had a had a great experience with it. And uh, towards the end of the season, he got his brother uh, Justin to come in, start yep. helping out with us. And Justin had a great experience. So we've actually been able to add Justin to our staff for for this sure. season. Um, in addition to that, Charlton Benjamin, who was another one of those seniors for us right. last year that's uh, had a lot of experience, um, is uh, is a GA for us this yep. year. So it'll be good for him to to you know help with. Uh, and I say senior leadership, but some yeah. of that upperclassman leadership sure. that we sure. that we've missed. Mm -hmm. um, Chris Milburn, who's uh, helped out with the high school program here for yeah. a number of years, um, stepped away from the high school level last year and uh, has decided to join us uh, here this season. So he's going to make a Im big impact for us yeah. um, being in there. Uh, and then we also have Dimitri Boyer, mm -hmm. um, who is coming back to uh, finish up his teaching degree. Sure. Um, so he's going to be a student coach for us here for the next couple of years. So um, you know. Just kind of everything just kind of fell together for us yeah, this year yeah. to get all these guys on board, getting Dimitri in. We got uh, things to work out for him right. academically. Um, you know, with Chris deciding to step down from the high school level last year, and uh, you know, really didn't have any intentions of sure. getting back into coaching, and right. things just kind of worked out where uh, you know the opportunity was there for him, and, sure. and, and he's jumped in there and like I said, he's done an incredible job for us so far. So um, we're very fortunate to have right. him and. Um, now that Aaron's got a season under his belt, I know last year there's a little bit of a learning curve there. Right. Um, you know, at the beginning of the year, just learning the guys and knowing them. Where, you know, this year coming in, he knows how sure. ninety percent of our guys wrestle yeah, right. compared to last year coming in. Everybody being new to him, right. um, so you know that definitely makes a big difference for sure. us having that year of experience for him. And uh, we got Ryan Groom back, who's yep. been uh, coaching here for a number of years with us. So, sure. um, 
you know, just got a, a good solid group of guys, and uh, it's kind of nice to bring those young guys in because they bring new yeah. ideas and some new, uh, exactly. new excitement to the program. Right, so, right. Um, you know, we we got a great mix of coaches in the room right sure. now, and uh, um, it's kind of nice bringing Chris in because a lot of our coaches are more upper weight, sure. upper middle weight type of guys. So it's nice to have sure. a smaller guy in there, but uh, you know, he's kind of hit the ground running. Right. You know, as soon as he stepped in the room, there was. He's he's been around wrestling long enough right. to to know everything. So yeah, sure. um, you know there wasn't a whole much of a learning curve with him. He's in there, right. and, you know, helping guys, working with them. Um, you know, it's, it's definitely made an impact on our sure. program in just the short time he's been here. Yeah, definitely. All right. Um, finally, I guess we'll talk about. I mean, you talked about the schedule more or less of after you know um, after Christmas. It will probably remain relatively the same. So. Um, not much to talk about there, but uh, regionally, central, or I mean, you can say not central, but north qualifying still open? Or are we back on the central? Uh, no, or has we that are, not been determined yet? Uh, <laughs> I no, we, we, I, I'm not sure the proper terminology, okay. if we're Midwest or central or whatever. Or whatever it's called. Um, but we're actually moving to six regionals this year instead okay. of four. Okay. Um, so our qualifying standards will change a little bit. Sure. Um, we're going to the top three at each weight class at the regional okay. tournament, our automatic qualifiers. Right. And then I believe we have five uh, five alternates that we will pick, or not alternates, but five wild, wild or at large, at large five at large yeah. bursts that we'll pick um, amongst the coaches right after the regional tournament. Right. And then I believe there's 15 spots that a national committee will wow. select all of the others from the guys that weren't qualified sure. that weren't uh, qualified through the okay. regional meet so okay. um you know what they're going to look at is what a lot of the team sports do after they go through the automatic qualifiers and they start looking at the best team right. that didn't make um the playoff or the the right. national meet so um we're kind of following along with that format sure. um a little bit and and i, and I, I think it's going to work out really well for us because there's always those few regions that have a really strong weight that are four or five guys yeah. deep, but you, right. can't you can't everybody. take everybody. So, yeah. um, you know, having that national panel of uh, the guy of the coaches that have been on the uh, ratings sure. committee all season long, yeah. and then some other individuals that are in the oversight throughout mm -hmm. the year that get to see who's doing what right. throughout the season. Yeah. Um, you know, I think that will help make sure we get the best guys to the sure. national tournament. Yeah. Great deal. Um, finally. Um, keys to success it's a young team so like you said november november's team is going to look completely different than the team that finally goes to regionals in uh, in uh, late february so um, obviously maturity is going to be a key but and how they mature but you know i'll let you yeah i, I think a big thing you know i think with our scheduling that we have this year having those first couple meets with sure. the freshman divisions and then the augsburg meet with the gold silver and bronze divisions right. Um, I think that will definitely benefit our young guys sure. um, even more than it has in the past this year. Because, right. um, like I said, a lot of those first couple of meets that we go to are, are very tough meets with right. Iowa and Iowa State haven't been there the last couple of years. Sure. And, um, you know, sometimes that deflates some of our freshmen right. in their first couple <laughs> tournaments. And it takes them a little while to rebound from that and get yeah. their confidence back. So I think this year having uh, having them ease into the college uh, schedule a little bit more sure. will, will definitely help them out. Um, more than what it has in the past, and what sure. happens such a young team, you know, I think that's going to be very benefic beneficial for us. Sure. Um, but the other thing I think as coaches, we all understand that uh, you know there's the young guys are going to be a little frustrated. Right. They're used to being the guy, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> and now coming in here and uh, and not not being be able to kind of do what they want um, is a little bit of an adjustment for them. But uh, you know, so so far most of them have handled it very well, sure. and uh, you know just kind of coming in knowing that that's going to be the progress that we make right. throughout the year. So. I think a big thing for us coaches is just be keeping those young guys, uh, keeping them motivated, um, you know, keeping their heads up and right. uh, and helping them make that transition yeah. um, to the college style. And the other thing we just kind of keep harping on them is uh, in, in college we kind of look at our season as two parts mm -hmm. compared to the high school season. You know, mm -hmm. we have a first part before Christmas break and then we come back and we still have two months of season left once we come back after Christmas. So, right. um, you know, we just kind of tell them this first part is just to figure out what you can do and what you can't right. do. And then once we get back after after Christmas time, then you know we really kind of hit the ground running. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Alrighty, Coach. Well, you guys start up in about a month from now. Yeah. Uh, so uh, Grandview Open over in Des Moines. So check out uh, Coach Reed's group. Um, I'm sure you're gonna have a full group out there in Des Moines that first uh, first weekend. So um, it's gonna be a long year, but uh, we'll we'll watch them as uh, week in week out, see how they're progressing. All right. All right. Thanks. thanks.